the first thing is always to be aligned with the client and to make sure that their words correspond to their vision. Too often, design vocabulary is unclear or misused by people outside of the profession. So we have to make sure that when a client says modern, they actually mean modern. So initially, we would start with mood boards, vision boards, and formal references to gauge their reactions to certain spaces and understand what they're attracted to and interested in. Only after this exercise are we actually able to label the project in its style and trends in order to build around it and get a cohesive result. After that, we need to define what we call a program. The program is the list of needed spaces with its function and attributes, and by doing so, the size of the space. This part, to be honest, always causes us problems because it's quite difficult for clients to know exactly what they need without seeing it laid in front of them on a blueprint and it can be even more problematic once the space is built. So once the vision and function are aligned, the fun creative process can begin, where we start drawing, sketching, and building a volume, a concept from scratch, and putting together the core idea. Finally, a key aspect to approaching a new project is to define from day one the team that will be part of this project and the overall budget to manage client expectations. And that's the toughest because we all know clients only hear what they like to hear.